Hi everyone, welcome back to SAT Zero Two One. In this lesson, we are going to talk about operations with polynomials and rewriting expressions. So first, let's introduce like terms. So like terms are the terms with same variables and powers. For example, if we have three x squared and one over two x squared. So for these two terms, as they both have x as their variable. And they both have two as their power, so the two terms are like terms. So how to combine like terms? Suppose we are adding the two terms together. The first step we have to isolate the two coefficients. So we gather them, and the expression equals three plus one over two x squared. And then we calculate three plus one over two, that is seven over two. X squared. Let's do one practice. Find the sum of the two polynomials shown below: four x cubed plus six x squared minus three x plus five, seven x cubed minus four x squared plus seven x minus eight. Both of the two polynomials are already written in descending order, so we just find the like terms and then combine the like terms. So for the first two terms. And we can add them, and that equals eleven x cubed. And we can move on to the second part, and that is two x squared. And similarly, we can add negative three x and seven x, and that is four x. And then five minus eight, that is minus three. So we got eleven x cubed plus two x squared plus four x minus three. So the correct answer is B. Now let's move on to distributive property. So how to multiply expressions? For example, if we have a plus b times c plus d, so the method is also called FOIL. So we first multiply the first two terms, a times c, and that is a c, and then the other two terms, a and d. So we plus a d, and the inner two terms, b c. And then the last terms b and d. So a plus b times c plus d equals a c plus a d plus b c and then plus b d. So let's do one practice. We write the following expression in the form of a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d, where a b c are constants, and then find the value of a plus b plus c. So we have to apply distributive property. So for the first part, let's do it together. So the first x times x squared that is x cubed, and then x times nine that is nine x, and then minus one times x squared that is minus x squared, and then minus one plus times nine that is minus nine. And similarly, we can distribute the three into the second bracket. And then we can open the second bracket, and then we can combine like terms. So x cubed only itself, and for square we have negative x squared minus fifteen x squared, so that is minus sixteen x squared, and for x we have nine x and twelve x, and that is twenty one x, and then we have. Minus nine minus six that is minus fifteen. And after that, we have to identify a, b, and c. So a equals one, b equals negative sixteen, and c equals twenty one. And a plus b plus c equals six. Okay. Now let's move on to factorization. So the simplest way to factorize an expression is taking out common factors. So for this expression, we try to factorize it. So let's see the coefficients first: fifteen, three, and negative nine. I can write them as three times five, three, and negative three times three. So we can see that they both have a three in common. So we can take out one three. 
and now let's see variables. So x squared y I can write as x y times x, and x y squared I can write as x y times y. So we can see that the three terms have x y in common. So I can take out the x y. So after doing the factorization, the expression becomes to three x y times five x plus one minus three y. In addition to taking out common factors, we have two more formula to use to do factorization. So the first one is perfect square formula. a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared equals a plus or minus b squared. Suppose we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. So the a currently is x and b currently is 1. So we rewrite the expression to x squared minus 2 times x times 1 plus 1 squared. And we can apply the formula so that equals to x minus 1 squared. The other formula is difference of squares formula. So a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So if we have x squared minus 4, we can write 4 as 2 squared. And then we can apply the formula so that equals x plus 2 times x minus 2. Okay, let's do one practice. If a squared minus b squared equals 12 and a plus b equals 4, what is the value of a minus b? So for the a squared minus b squared, we can factorize. So we can write as a plus b times a minus b. And then we can substitute the values given. So 12 equals 4 times a minus b. And then we can divide the 4 for both sides. So the left hand side equals 3 and the right hand side is a minus b. So a minus b equals 3. So the correct answer is c. And let's do another practice. What is the factored form for the following expression? 3xy squared minus 3x cubed. So we can take out common factors first. So the first term we can write as 3x times y squared. And the second term we can write as 3x times x squared. So they both have 3x, so we can take out the 3x. And then the remaining part is y squared minus x squared. So we can apply the difference of squares formula. So y squared minus x squared, that equals y plus x times y minus x. So we got the final answer that is 3x times y plus x times y minus x. So the correct answer is t. So that's the end for this lesson. Hope you understand it and see you then.